Throughout the past century, manually operated lathes have been the mainstay of tool rooms and small machine shops everywhere. These machines, however, take considerable time to set up and are quite cumbersome to operate. In fact, the setup time often far exceeds the actual time it takes to make the part. And while many of these machines have digital readouts for accurate positioning, there's no way to have a manual machine repeat a process automatically to make multiple parts from the same set of movements. Welcome to the 21st century. Manual machines may have been adequate in the past, but to survive in today's competitive world, it's increasingly necessary for machine shops to make the switch to CNC. The designers at Haas Automation have developed a better way to turn out parts, a machine that combines the familiarity of a manual lathe with the power of computer control and an intuitive programming interface. The TL1 tool room lathe from Haas Automation provides an easy transition from manual machines to CNC at a price you can afford. Haas engineers designed the tool room lathe for the machinist who is already used to operating a manual lathe. Just like on a manual lathe, the hand wheels on the TL1 are right where you'd expect them to be. But the tool room lathe also features powerful CNC capabilities to help with manual and automatic operations and transition the operator to full CNC machining. The Haas TL1. Designed with all the advantages of a full function CNC machine, but at the price of a manual machine. It simply is a better way. Let's take a look at why the tool room lathe is far beyond any typical manual lathe that you might come across. All Haas tool room lathes include our intuitive programming system software, which guides the machine operator through the steps necessary to make a part. Utilizing a proprietary conversational operating system, novice users are able to machine parts without having any knowledge of G-code programming. The Haas IPS software is easy to use and understand. Using the hand wheels and entering information when prompted by the control are all it takes to make a part. The Haas control will save the information entered by the operator and turn it into a reusable and transferable standard G-code program that can run on any Haas high output turning center. Now, let's take a look at five traditional operations that consume a lot of time and energy when working with a manual machine. Facing a part. First, turn on the spindle by entering a spindle speed and pressing spindle forward. Use the hand wheels to jog the tool until it just touches the outside diameter of the part. At the control, choose the tool offset mode and simply press the X diameter measure button. The control then prompts you to enter the part diameter. Based on the diameter you enter, the control calculates the distance to center line from the current tool position and automatically fills in the correct X offset for you. Now, set the Z position by jogging the tool to the face of the part. Cursor down to the Z offset field and press the Z face measure button. The control automatically fills in the field with the Z position offset. Because the first thing we want to do is clean up the face of the part, we scroll up to the top tab menus and choose the turn face mode. To define the exact operation desired, we choose face from the lower sub menu tabs. The control now prompts us to enter information in each of the field boxes. This is all that is required to cut the part. As an example of one of the powerful CNC features, you can save this entire facing operation to memory by using the recorder function built into the IPS software. Now, press Cycle Start, and the machine will face the part as you instructed and record all the information for this operation. It's that simple. You've created a G-code program that can be saved to memory or copied to a disk and used literally on any other Haas turning center. To continue making our part, we return to the Turn Face Mode menu, and this time choose OD Turn from the lower tab menu. The control prompts us to fill in each of the field boxes with information, just as before. Again, we're using the recorder feature to capture all the settings and movements for this operation. Now, push Cycle Start to cut the OD and record the operation. Let's look at cutting a chamfer and radius. 
First, we return to the main IPS screen. Choose Chamfer Radius from the top menu categories, and then choose OD Chamfer from the lower submenus. Fill in each of the field boxes as prompted by the control. In this operation, the control is automatically calculating the angle, depth of cut, and distance required to create the correct chamfer, all without changing tools or adjusting any part of the machine. A manual lathe would require changing the angle of the cross slide and repositioning the tool post to cut a chamfer. Like before, select Record and press Cycle Start to complete the cut and record the operation as G-code. Now, choose OD Radius from the lower sub-menus. Again, fill in the fields with the information as prompted by the control. Select Record, press Cycle Start, and cut the radius. Here again, the power of the Haas CNC eliminates the need to grind a special tool and to do a plunge cut to create a radius. The tool room lathe uses a standard turning tool and the power of the IPS software to complete in just a few easy steps what is a cumbersome operation on a manual lathe. Operation 4. Cutting a thread. Install a thread cutting tool on the tool post. Be aware, everything you've seen up to this point was done with a single tool. Since this is a different tool, you must first set the tool offsets. Manually position the tool at the OD of the part. At the control, we've chosen to call this tool number 2. Enter the X offset by pressing the X diameter button, then enter the part diameter. Now, do the same for the face of the part to set the Z offset. Return to the main menu and choose Threading from the top tab bar. Then choose OD Thread from the lower submenus. Fill in each of the fields with information as prompted by the control. Choose Record and Cycle Start to both cut the thread and record the operation as G-code. Here is another operation where CNC capability saves a lot of time and effort, making you a lot more productive. The TL machine will cut the thread automatically with a minimum of information. If you know how much work is required to cut a thread on a manual lathe, you'll understand how the Haas TL lathe can cut threads more than eight times faster, and it will cut perfect threads over and over, each one exactly like the one before. ID Drilling Use the rapid command to reposition the tool post to change the threading tool to a drill. This time, the drill will be named tool number 3. Set the X and Z offsets as before. From the main menu, choose Drill Tap from the top tab bar. From the sub-menu, choose the Peck Drill operation. Enter information into the field boxes as prompted by the control. Use the recorder feature as before and press Cycle Start to drill the hole. The power of the Haas TL1 lathe and the intuitive programming system software have allowed you to create a typical turn part with an easy to use, simple interface. All the movements and values required have been recorded and saved as G-code programmed operations to be used later. The TL series lathes. Simple innovation, only from Haas.